Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. <laughs> okay, y'all, so I was reading my devotional mm -hmm. and came across a scripture that says, he who walks with wise men will be wise, but the companion of fools will mm -hmm. suffer harm. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes, God. And it got me thinking about times in my life when I had to do some housekeeping with mm -hmm. uh, my friends and family mm -hmm. in order to reach a new level, mm -hmm. um, either personally or professionally, ladies. So my question is, I was like, man, this is such a good full Ooh, circle because yeah. I know that we're all very successful. We're all moving and shaking all the time. Um, and a lot of times there's a lot of hang mm -hmm. that get aligned with you and you don't know because you're trying to help and you, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? So have there, has there ever been a time where um, you've experienced um, where you a time where you've had to let go of people that have been close to you? Wow. Yes. Or grab on to people who you saw was doing something more mm -hmm. and, and how and, and not feel guilty about that too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, I definitely had to do that. I've made a conscious decision to uh, re remove myself from toxic people. Uh, people who are not progressive, they don't think progressively, um, and people who are who have that crab in a barrel mentality. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, I feel that no one should dim their light in order for others to shine. Mm -hmm. we, can Message. All, we can all shine together, uh, but if I ever even take heed or even remotely see that type of uh, attitude, uh, that's that type of attitude in a person, then I quickly remove myself yeah. from it. Yes, mm -hmm. um, and 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 for me, I, I was even just saying this. The the other day, I don't want to be the richest person in my circle because no. then, first of all, that's gonna mean I have to pay for everything. We're going stack. Not unless you're a trainer. You get what you, <laughs> you get. get what I get. <laughs> Separate like, nope. check, one check or two. Yep. Two. <laughs> <laughs> but, but I know we only have a few minutes, and I'm gonna wrap it up so I can let my other sisters talk. But but honestly, I I said that because I want to learn, and I want to be mm -hmm. in a, in, a, in an environment that I'm also pushing myself, and I'm mm -hmm. also growing. It's and so I can't do that if I am the smartest or the richest yeah. in my circle. Yeah. Right. I just can't do it. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Yeah. Um. I haven't really, uh, well. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you have, girl. It's okay, no one's yes, yes, you have. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think, you know, once um, Sister Circle happened, uh, diff things, different things started to change around me. Um, and so I was very cognizant of um, who was there for Rashawn and who's there for Rashawn Ali, uh, mm. the, P, the professionally known as mm -hmm. name for Rashawn Ali. So I'm very, very, my circle is very tight mm -hmm. with a lot of the people that I grew up with in high school and, and, and college. So I keep that really tight. I haven't really, I've only had one experience where I've had to truly let go of someone and we've been able to apolog apologize and move forward and love on each other again, but and we probably won't work in the same capacity, but just to know that, hey, you can still have a disagreement and, and fall out and still be able to love again, but then just keep that love as pure love and not um, in you a professional. You can do that when it's not with malice and tears. Exactly. And if it's That's not true. perpetuated. That's true. Right, right, That's right. True. Perpetuated, is, it's not a mistake, it's now practice. Yeah, yeah. Well, then there's that. Come on, get on up out of here with this word. You're telling me that you're going to say that I'm coming on from the Lord. So I've just been really blessed with amazing friends and God and the universe has really just sent me the people that are supposed to be in my circle. And I'm very blessed to have those people. Yeah. Well, so, sometimes people are, like my mom, she always said, sometimes people are with you for a season. Mm -hmm. They're not supposed to go with you in every Could journey be, yeah. of your life. And sometimes you just have to discard baggage in order to make that, that journey for you lighter as you travel That's down good. the way. Sometimes yeah. you gotta uh, empty that boat in order to fit through the canal. Yes. You know, yes. Yes. And just like piggybacking what you were saying about dimming your lights, I can't slow down so that you can catch up. Mm. I cannot do that. And Girl, I won't do that. that. Say, talk and I'm, talk I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> but um, but and my mother also said that if you wanna see yourself in the next five years, look at your friends. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Look at your circles. And I thrive and I live off of that because, again, if I'm not learning from you, from you and you're not learning from me and we're not building each other up to take each other to the next level, I don't need you in my life and That's I don't need true. you in my space. Not added value. And I don't care if you like it and if you don't. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, it's just how I choose to live my life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you know, when I was going through the scripture, one of the things that came to me was underdog. Mm -hmm. And what I realized about myself is 
you know, people always say, oh, Selena, you're underdog, mm -hmm. underrated, you know, singer or whatever. And what I, what I, so I adapted that, that, that role, right? Mm -hmm. and so what happens is when you're an underdog in your, in your mind or in your arena, you start to attach yourself to other people who you feel are underdogs. Mm -hmm. But the truth is, it's not that they're underdogs. There are toxic things that they are, um, that, that are instilled in them that is preventing them from getting mm -hmm. to their next levels. But you, you feel like because you're not where you are that you should extend yourself mm -hmm. because you were, you too were once a person right. that wasn't where you were. Mm -hmm. But the truth of the matter is when you align yourself with people like that, um, it, it can drag you down because two people can't run faster in quicksand. Mm -hmm. So for me, I had to realize I can't align myself. And, and what I learned about these people is that most of them are addicts. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't allow. I cannot allow myself with anyone that is addicted to something, mm -hmm. because they will, that, that addiction will always come before you. Mm -hmm. I don't align myself <laughs> with people that have low EQs, mm -hmm. emotional quotient, oh. Oh. emotional intelligence, because they make rash choices mm -hmm. and decisions. Mm -hmm. And because you're in alignment with them, you 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 suffer the the, the repercussions. Mm -hmm. you, you feel me? And I don't align myself with people that want something from me all, all the, the time, time and never offer to never. give me anything. And so I realized that some people that come into your life are, like That's Trina so said, they're they're in there for a season and a reason. And a lot of times that reason is to teach you, not take. But if you don't learn the lesson, mm -hmm. you fail. You're making a mistake. Right. Oh. And so, then you keep the cycle going. And then you going. keep the yeah. cycle going. Yeah. So toxic behavior, emotional quotient for me, and blood suckers. I hate right. a blood sucker. Blood Get out suckers. of here. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah. that is you, And they stay coming for you. Oh, baby, don't Ooh, they? Lord, they got all type of stories, Ooh, they girl. be coming for you so they bad. They lights and stuff to get cut off and everything. Don't, don't, give no, everything. don't even give no love right now. Uh, we'd like to hear how you feel. That was good. That was good. The, the, the light is shining on, on yes, us. Yes. We hope the light is shining.